Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Time to take that walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I appreciate it. Appreciate you taking your time to check out what I'm talking about. Uh, today's beer comes from Evil Trend Brewing. Uh, this is their Even More JCS. And they do a lot of different versions of this style of beer. Being these great big 12 percenters and they do these beers exceptionally damn well. Uh, Jeppy and, and the guys up there uh, at Evil Twin know how to brew this style of beer, and a lot of them are very, very similar. Uh, they may use some different ingredients, but uh, basically they all come up to, to basically uh, an impressive world-class 12% Imperial Stout guys. So uh, with that being said, uh, let me. Uh, this was sent to me by brother Rico, and he writes on this one. Uh, canned on 1 11 18 so they are dating their stuff it's got it right here on the bottom of the can so two big thumbs up to guys that are able to win for doing that jeppy i appreciate it sir uh he said he picked this up a few weeks back for around eight bucks which is a little on the pricier side since it's not a bourbon barrel aged version for a 16 ounce can but it's a 12 percenter you got to realize what you're drinking and what you're buying here guys uh, this is another variant of their Even More Jesus or Jesus Stout. JCS stands for John Claude's. Produced and bottled at Westbrook, Westbrook Brewing. And those guys there do some awesome stuff. Their Mexican cake beers are to die for guys. They have a cult following and uh, everybody's clamoring to get their hands on those beers. Uh, and he tells me the commercial description here. A 12% ABV. A Fagato style Imperial Stout brewed with lactose and conditioned on coffee and vanilla beans. So uh, it does have some coffee in it, so I don't know how long you'd want to sell her this beer. You might want to drink her fresh because the coffee is going to fade like hops do guys on this. And with lactose, it should have a nice sweetness to it. Uh, and with vanilla beans, you're going to get that big vanilla taste. Uh, An Affogato, which translates to drown from Italian. Is a coffee based drink that usually made up of a shot of espresso poured over a scoop of vanilla gelato or ice cream so uh, a great beer to have a, a float put you some ice cream and pour this over top of it and, and that could be your dessert uh, i don't think you'd need a dessert to go with that if you're pouring it over ice cream so uh, i'm not pouring it over ice cream so uh, but it is a final beer of the evening for me so let's get on with it Let's step back over to Untapped and see if they have anything different than what I've just read. Uh, no, they don't. They say the same thing about a spread to you from what Rico, so evidently he's copied uh, or sent me uh, the information that Untapped has got written here. So, we got a 12 percenter. We don't have the IBUs, but we got the candle days. So we got two out of three. This style of beer, uh, IBUs aren't that critical. They've used lactose, so it should be a, a nice sweet beer. So with that being said, let's pop the top on this bad boy. And into the glass we go. Oh, that's motor oil coming out of there. Oh yeah, it's pitch black here, guys. And I'm gonna go down the center on this while I tell you the cheeses are buttery, brie, good Havarti Swiss, general chocolate, digestive. The meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass water pint, back in October, snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite tulip glass, the Sovereign beer glass today. 
And of course, Barry Advocate says you can settle this. And just be aware if they've done this with a little bit of coffee, uh, that may fade over time. So you're taking your chances if you want to sell this this big beer at 12% for any length of time. I would suggest drinking it fresh. If it's got coffee, any kind of coffee been infused into it, drink it fresh. So about a half a finger of head on that pour, and it is absolutely pitch black, guys. There is no light coming from the beer or through the beer. Looks pretty good. Let's get it to the nose. Rich roasted malt. My sweetness to the back here from the lactose. Hints of coffee and vanilla. Black molasses. Maybe a little bit of uh, toffee or caramel in there. Smells absolutely wonderful. Smells fantastic. The head on top is very khaki colored and creamy looking. Great looking beer. Absolutely outstanding looking beer. 12 percenter. This is a big boy's beer. This is one you want to drink at home or if you're drinking it out, have a designated driver, guys. One of these is enough to get you in trouble here in the state of Virginia if you go through a road check or a DUI checkpoint, guys. Just be aware of that. Drink responsibly. I don't want you to get hurt or, or get a DUI and you get a DUI in this state, you're looking at 10 grand for lawyer's fees, court fees, and, and a blow-in machine that you're going to put on your vehicle and calibrate it every month. It's just a hassle, guys. Uh, that's why you see me doing my beer reviews and drinking my beers here. I'm not out driving around, uh, so I try not to do that anymore. When I was a young buck, I was very damn lucky that I never got a DUI. Knock on wood, uh, it's... Uh, it's not a pleasant experience from a lot of my friends that have got them. So, drink responsibly, guys. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Awesome. Awesome aroma. Wow. Wow, that is so smooth for a 12%. This beer will get you in trouble. Because it drinks so smoothly, guys. The alcohol is so well hidden. Chocolate. Vanilla. Hints of coffee. That beer is absolutely incredible. Mm. That is absolutely delicious, guys. That's probably one of the best styles I've had in quite a while. And Jeffy and the guys at Evil Twin do these style of beers very freaking well. They have got it figured out. They do. This is this is incredible. It's outstanding, guys. It's no doubt about it. Big 16-ounce can. We're going to throw the back end pour in there. And look at that. I mean, it looks like black coffee coming out. So, uh, so smooth. Alcohol is so well hidden for a 12 percenter. That's why I say, man, this could get you in trouble, especially if you're not drinking it at home. If you drink two of these, you're drunk. Whether you realize it or not, you are drunk. So, well, I'm going to sip on this. I'm going to have to step out on the deck and fire up a stogie to go with this and sip on it for a while and let it come up to room temperature. It's still about 65 degrees outside. The wind's blowing a little strong, but... Nothing too, nothing too unbearable. I think I can handle it. Might have a little trouble lighting that cigar, but I'll get it lit. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys, and we'll see where this one ends up. Very impressive beer, though. All right, guys, I'm back. Been stepped on about 30 minutes or so. Didn't leave a lot of lacing or anything on the glass, but very well-made beer, guys. It's an outstanding beer. Uh, Jeff and the guys up there at Evil Twin has got this one figured out for sure. Uh, and now that they're dating their stuff, uh, their stuff is kind of pricey. You got to realize that. Uh, but they do make an exceptional, well made 12% Imperial Stout. Uh, this one done with lactose uh, and the coffee and vanilla beans is absolutely fantabulous, guys. Uh, I'll have to give it to the guys up there. This one is a winner. It is definitely one to pick up if you see it, uh, even though it's a little pricey. Uh, for, not, for a non-bourbon barrel aged version at $8 a pop, four of these is going to cost you a pretty penny. Uh, 
but it is a very, very well-made beer. I, I have to say that. Uh, I can't think of a single thing other than putting it in some bourbon barrels for a while, but then you're going to lose the copy aspects of the beer if it sits in some bourbon barrels for three, six, eight, twelve months or so. So, very nice beer. I enjoyed this thoroughly. As much as I hate to say this, uh, I would probably buy this beer if it wasn't quite so pricey. But it is what it is for a 12 percenter, very well made beer. I don't choke. Awesome aroma, guys. It really is. Very nice sweetness to it. The coffee, coffee is not off the chain, but it's there. That's another reason why I say you probably wouldn't want to sell this beer for a long time. Because uh, you're going to lose those coffee notes. Very nice. I'm very impressed with this beer. For a non bourbon barrel aged version, probably one of the most impressive uh, imperial styles that I've had this year. So, that being said, guys, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Much as it chaps my ass to do this, but I'm going to give it a 10. It, it is pretty impressive beer. They've definitely got a winner here. It is very impressive. Uh, 100 for me, guys. So let's go over to Beer Advocate. They say 4.36 in the outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer, guys. You need to pick it up and give it a try. And over to Untap, they have 4.27. Another A category beer there. It's unanimous, guys. It's definitely an A beer. It's definitely worthy of picking up if you have deep enough pockets to afford an $8, 16 ounce Imperial Stout. But it is so well made. Uh, the alcohol is so well hidden. Uh, definitely a dessert beer. You get that big, sweet, chocolatey uh, coffee, black molasses. And if you look hard enough, you may even find some dark fruit in there too. So, uh, very nice beer. And if you want to pour it over some ice cream, this would be outstanding. Or if you don't, uh, like I did, uh, you just drink it straight up. Uh, and that could be your dessert. So, very nice beer. I enjoyed this one. Uh, Rico, thanks so much, my brother. I do appreciate it. This is definitely a winner, guys. You ever to pick it up if you see it. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.